What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have some more brand new WWE Elite action figure news for you guys. Not only Elites, but we do have some battle packs in here. We got some Ultimate Editions. We got some great images to show off for some new WWE figures, some uh, newer images of some stuff we already knew was coming, but it is some pretty epic stuff, so I did want to get it up to you guys, review all of it, talk about it, get it all out in the open, but we are going to give a huge shout-out to Unstable1047 and DFreedom30 for all of these images because Christian let me know about the images and he sent some of them to me and then D Freedom's always breaking the news on there. I think a bunch of people were breaking it so I really don't know who you know all to give credit to but I did want to plug those two right quick. But let's go ahead and dive in guys. Let's go ahead and take a first look at the Elite 75 Collector's Edition Billy K Elite figure that is supposed to go hand in hand with our Elite Peyton Royce. That Mattel never really sent out to the targets. I believe it was supposed to be Target uh, right um, I, I need to go ahead and go check again to see if this is supposed to be Walmart or Target exclusive. I'm going to go to D Freedom's page really quick and go ahead and check that out. So this is supposed to be the Elite 75 Collector's Edition Target exclusive Billy K to go with our Peyton Royce that, again, we never really gotten. I saw that a few people did get Peyton Royce over in Australia. I did see some people getting that. So um, I, apparently it's hitting. It's just not hitting here, apparently. I, I don't know what's up with that, but we do have Billy K. I really don't know what's different about the two Elites, the Peyton Royce and the Billy K. What's so different about those figures than our basics that we got, our battle packs of those two? Um, I really don't see a difference. Maybe a little bit extra articulation, like a thigh cut, and then maybe like the ankle articulation. Uh, and I guess it does have like the bicep swivel and stuff, but it's they're the, basically the same figures, I do believe. The elites are, and they get the cloth shirts and the microphone. So I'm not too hyped about the collector's edition Billy K, but I did want to put it up to you guys in case you guys wanted to collect it or whatever. But there is Billy K. The next figures that we have, guys, is mock images and some more loose images of the WrestleMania 35 two-pack of Rey Mysterio and Samoa Joe. Rey Mysterio in his Mysterio attire. Very beautiful looking figures. I adore these. I think they are fan-freaking-tastic. And uh, they, they just look so good. I think that these are easily going to be, or the Rey Mysterio for sure is going to be a figure of the year candidate with all the details he's got. The deco on his uh, on his attire there with the gauntlets and, and just all of the detail in this figure is so fantastic. Definitely going to have to get one or two of these things because they look so good. And the Samoa Joe head sculpt is phenomenal. I think it looks fantastic as well. I love the mohawk and everything like that. So Samoa Joe's head sculpt looks amazing. Rey Mysterio looks amazing. This is a beautiful looking two-pack. The only gripe I could possibly have is that the coat is rubber, but I can't understand it. You know, with all that deco and all those details... Going to be really hard to get a cloth, you know, cape on it, but, you know, it, it is what it is. We did see it with the Hurricane, but this is a figure with so many details and stuff like that that I'm not going to deduct any football points, Brad. I think it looks pretty good, and I'm excited for it. So, Rey Mysterio and Samoa Joe look absolutely excellent. Going beyond the two-pack of Rey Mysterio and Samoa Joe and then the Billy K Elite 75 Collector's Edition, guys, we do have the Series 2 of the Network Spotlights, and we have seen these figures before, but I do want to take another look at them because we have better images of them and stuff like that. We have the Kurt Angle from that set, which is from his last match with Trash Corbin at WrestleMania. And I like the attire. I think it's pretty solid. It's obviously not as good as his other attires, but you do get the rubber shirt. You get interchangeable hands. You get the mic and, or the mic, you get the metal and you get, you know, the uh, regular face. I feel like this is the same exact head sculpt as his uh, Elite, uh, what was it, the Elite 60 figure, the Elite 59 Kurt Angle. It looks very, very similar if it's not the same. Maybe it's the true effects version of that head sculpt. But uh, this is a pretty solid figure. I like it. You could probably, you know, customize it, make it look more back in the day Kurt Angle if you want. Maybe add some boots. Maybe make it look like the wrestling machine Kurt Angle or something like that if you wanted to. But it looks pretty good. I'm pretty excited for it. I love Kurt Angle. I love his figure, so that'll be pretty epic. I'll also like the, the wrestling shoes that they got going on with this one. The next figure in the set is Ricochet, and he looks really good. The only thing I don't like is the lower leg problem, which we discussed. You know, they make his legs too tall anyway, but then they did that weird cutoff thing where they didn't give him knee pads, and then they put the logos on the legs, and then they just cut like midway up the thigh they made it black instead of making the tights full yellow with black knee pads and putting the logos on the knee pads. I don't know what's going on over there with that. I'm not sure if it's too late to change the Ricochet formula, maybe they'll switch it. Maybe it'll just be like AJ Styles where, you know, every single one from now on will kind of have this problem. We're just going to have to fix it ourselves. I'm not entirely sure about that, but... Uh, there is a way to fix this, but um, I, I just I wish the full thigh was yellow. That would help it out a lot, but uh, we are going to customize that on action figure surgery. That'll be a pretty cool thing to do, but uh, Ricochet is looking good. I really like that pose of him holding the, the U.S. championship. I really like that a lot, but 
I really like the yellow attire. The yellow really pops off a lot, and I like this attire a lot better than the first Ricochet Elite that we got with Elite 69, so that's pretty nice to see. The next figure we have, guys, is Wendy Richter. She is also a part of the Network Spotlight Series 2, and this figure is... The third figure, I think, remember they were supposed to release, what, the Wendy Richter, Sasha Banks, and Lita three-pack that was supposed to be WWE Shop exclusive. Well, now this figure does finally get re-released. You know, if a figure gets canceled or a set gets canceled, they try to find spots for those figures that get canceled somewhere in the line, and it looks like they found a home for Wendy Richter here in the Network Spotlight Series number two for Target here. And this figure looks good. You know, not a huge fan of Wendy Richter, but you got to pay respect to the legends, and I'm sure somebody out there will enjoy this. Uh, I, I'll probably get it when I, you know, take a, you know, when I, with, with, with whatever the hell I'm saying. I'll probably pick it up when I see it at Target just to, you know, review the full set of it, but it's not something that I necessarily just am desperately in need of, but it is something that I'll probably grab if I saw the full set. But it does look like Wendy Richter, and I like the championship we're getting, and the attire's nice. The, the colors uh, pop off really, really nicely, so that's pretty cool to see for Wendy Richter. The last figure in the set, guys, is Matt Hardy. Now, Matt Hardy is probably the figure that I'm most excited for in the set, if I'm being completely honest. I really do enjoy the way this thing looks. Um, something that my boy Chase from Burnout Inc. pointed out is that if you take this figure, you remove the rubber shirt and then you replace the arms and the head with a Dean Ambrose, you could probably make a John Moxley. It's a perfect formula for a John Moxley, at least for right now. Like, you know, without any work done, you know, you don't have to use any of his old pants. It doesn't have the old style Matt Hardy. It's like actual jeans from the Ultimate Deletion. So this is excellent. I, I'm so hyped for this. I wish we were getting a mower of lawns. You know, I talk about that every time we see this figure. I really want to see a mower of lawns. But right now we got the dilapidated boat and Vanguard 1 with our Mar Matt Hardy figure. And I, I like it though i am very excited for it but there is a really easy way to make a custom john moxley maybe i can find two of these and then make a john moxley figure out of that uh, or out of one of them and then use the other for the matt hardy collection or the matt hardy display on the shelf over there but the network series uh, the network spotlight series uh two looks pretty good i'm pretty excited for the full set it looks pretty good really excited for all of those figures with the dilapidated boat and all the good stuff but not only do we have the two packs uh, or the WrestleMania 35 two-pack of Joe and Ray. Not only do we have the Elite 75 Collector's Edition Billy K, and not only do we have Network Spotlight Series 2, we also have some shots of the new Ultimate Editions coming out. We have the Ultimate Edition Brock Lesnar and the Ultimate Edition Shawn Michaels. We'll take a closer look at Brock first, guys. Here in the images, you can see that we are going to be getting three interchangeable head sculpts and three pairs of interchangeable hands, uh, a, custom, or a, a cloth t-shirt, a universal championship, and a beanie. And this figure looks good. I'm really hyped for it. I think it looks pretty cool. I'm Again, I'm excited for it. I like the head scan choices. I'm not big on uh, the details of the eyes of these figures or the, the details of the Brock heads, but I do like the one that's on the figure in the packaging. I really enjoy that one the most, I think. Just that straight, pissed-off Brock look. Um, I would have preferred maybe like his eyebrows be angled down a little bit more so he looks a little bit more pissed off and stuff like that. I think that would have made it just a little bit better in my personal opinion for Brock Lesnar. But he's looking good, you know, nothing too crazy about it. I kind of wish we were getting, like, some cloth pants to make it, you know, a promo attire and, uh, you know, a non-promo attire. Maybe give him basic uh, bare hands. That way you could make him, give him the street attire, street gear, and then give him the wrestling gear. But, you know, it is what it is. Pretty cool looking figure anyways. And then we have the Shawn Michaels, which... I will. I do have some gripes about this figure. I, I really do like the attire we're getting. I like the red with the black and white. I think that looks excellent, and uh, I, I really do enjoy that part of the figure. The only thing I really have a gripe about is the interchangeable head sculpt I'm not too big on. I'm not big on the one coming on the figure in the package. The screaming head sculpt solid, but the one where he's smiling... That does not look like Shawn Michaels to me at all. It just kind of looks like Prince Charming or something. He just looks odd to me. It just does not scream Shawn Michaels. To me, the best Shawn Michaels head sculpt that we have is the WrestleMania 30, WrestleMania 14 in the red attire. I think that is the best head sculpt, but this one is not doing it for me, the smiling one. I do like the screaming one, though, that is going to be the interchangeable one coming, um, or coming out of the packaging. You also have suck at hands, you have mic holding hands, and you have fists. So that's pretty cool, and the entrance gear is cool. I am, I am hyped on this HBK Ultimate Edition. I just am not a big fan of that smiling head sculpt, but maybe it'll be different once we get it in hand and, you know, take a closer look at him, but 
that is the two Ultimate Edition figures, guys. Moving on to the last few figures that we are going to talk about here today in our new segment. We do have three new Battle Packs for Battle Pack Series 64, I do believe. And uh, the first set is AJ Styles and Daniel Bryan. I feel like we just had them in a Battle Pack. What was it, like two series ago or something? But it was um, not, obviously, in the green attire. So we do have the green attire for AJ Styles. We have the Planet's Champion, Daniel Bryan. And then you have another of the uh, eco-friendly WWE Championship to go with that. So I guess if you missed out on the Elite, you can go ahead and grab this Battle Pack. It'll give you another extra one for your collection. Really good head sculpt. Uh, we got both of these guys in Elite, so I really don't know why you would want the Battle Pack. But hey, the head sculpts are there. You can do whatever you like. And it looks like they gave AJ Styles that same head sculpt from the Top Talents instead of giving him the Elite 74, which I think is pretty weird. But Moving on to the next battle pack, guys. We have another battle pack of the Usos, and these attires are so sick. I wish these were Elites, man. I, I hope we get these in Elite form. Maybe Elite Series 80 or 81 or something. We can get some Usos in these attires because this attire is sick as hell. I love the white. The white shorts and the all-white is so freaking clean. You guys know I am a freaking freaking idiot for the, for the color white. It's my favorite color, and it just looks so sick here. In this, uh, in this battle pack here. I, I really do like the white attire with the silver outlines. You do get some basic versions of the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships, but again, with the same head sculpts from Elite 64, so I'm not sure why they did that again. Um, I guess because it's like, you know, Elite 64 has the same head sculpt as Battle Pack 50, or 64. I don't know. Maybe that's what they're thinking. But the last battle pack that we have, guys, is Trish Stratus and Lita from Evolution. And these figures look great. I think the head sculpts look good on these two. I'm very excited for these. Uh, Trish's head looks great. Lita's head looks great. I feel like her eyes may be a little bit too far apart, but I still, I still like it. It still looks like Lita to me. And uh, it's a pretty good looking battle pack. So all three battle packs of Battle Battle Pack 64 are there. You have the Usos, AJ Styles and Daniel Bryan, and then Trish Stratus and Lita. And I think that is all of the figure news that we have for you guys today. Again, you have the two-pack. You got the Elite 75 Collectors, Billy Kay, Network Spotlight Series 2. You got Ultimate Edition, Brock and Sean, and then you have the three Battle Pack series. I don't think I'm missing anything. If I'm missing anything, then I'll comment it down below, possibly, if I am missing anything. I don't think I'm missing anything, but uh, anyways, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. Again, thank you so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.